because like, oh, I have an AK in place of my um, M9. That's what it was. Oh. Ooh, more ammo for the scout tactical. The premise of um, a division, I think it was, to, like mutiny from the U.S. Army. That would have, that could have been a really good gameplay design. It would have made a really good story, but I'm just not seeing it. Maybe the story is good, and it's really hard to flesh out a story through a demo. Because I certainly haven't seen it done well. But, um, the story could be good in this game, at least. Oh, uh, look, he's... Look at him. Look at him. Oh, like, uh, look at his teeth. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, an RPG getting a crate of ammo, a very small crate of ammo compared to the penetration capabilities of an RPG, and I'm still alive, that's um, surprising. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be our, I guess it doesn't have to be an ammo crate. Shit man, we're taking some heavy fire here! I'm sorry, but it's hard to shoot around this cover. It's like angled at a weird angle, so I can't shoot things behind it. Sorry. Target neutralized. Yeah, so I can blind fire. I got a headshot. Headshot blind fire. Reloading. That is nice. I'm glad they put that in. It makes it useful. And I'm also glad it's not a game where you have to aim down the sights. Watch out, man! Target down. Not all of them. Clear. We're clear. Like and other we games, moving. like you're just hopeless if you don't aim down the sights. In this game, you know, this doesn't make a huge difference. It doesn't affect the accuracy too badly. How many men did you bring here, Agent Daniels? No, I'm done answering questions. You have to let me speak to Conrad. Oh really? <laughs> How long you think Daniels can hold out? Not much longer. Who was Daniels? I thought there were only three of us. There's the funny Jew, and there's the black guy who's like, Oh, I'm too old for this. Cut it out, Lugo. I hate fun. And then we have um, me, the Commander Shepard of this game. There we go. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Oh, and now I had another scripted sequence this time. What the? Another scripted sequence. This time, um, we had to hang from that girder for a bit. Watch out for that runner! Walker, he's going for you! He's got a knife! Don't let him reach you! No, I'm gonna melee him because I don't have any ammo. Oh, you can't melee knife guys. If you saw that knife guy, he looked totally awesome. Though. So, yeah. Again, I, I have to um, praise the graphics of this game because there's not much else I can praise. Get behind cover. Don't try and need the cover. Knife guy is really annoying. Especially with scarce ammo like that. So yeah, you're trying to shoot him. You don't have any ammo left. You can't melee him. It's guaranteed death. Run around the move. Watch the fire. Oh, come here. In Closing in. There you go. Die. There you go. Stupid knife guy. One in the open. Hostile tank going down. Watch it. Shotgunner coming in. Got a moving target. Oh. Oh, look at that death animation. Death animations in this game, uh, they kind of get in the way. They kind of like stand on their knees for too long where they scream. Hard to shoot the guys behind them. Oh, I have to execute this guy. More summary execution. First, we're, um, first we kill the refugees as we enter the city. 
Now we perform summary executions Everyone. on everyone who we capture. Please, They do have a fair bit of variety in these um, enemy models, so I can praise them on that. Although I'm a bit sad that the best thing I can do to praise this game is comment on how good the graphics are. As for innovative gameplay, what have we seen so far? Uh, nothing really. It's a modern military third-person shooter cover base, I might add, as well as a bit of post-apocalyptic theme to it, with this whole sandstorm thing. And the cover is getting a bit clunky in these big firefights. Um, I'm not sure there's that high of a skill threshold in this thing. They also shout those those war shouts. They're they're all right. I kind of like that one. What down? Survive. Keep going. Now, those those are shit. great objectives. Did you guys see that psycho with the knife? Yeah, he was pretty damn hard to miss. Keep an eye out for anyone like him. Guy like there were two of them actually. Right, let's hurry up then. Oh, I don't mean to use the line. I use the other action the key. Trouble. Huh. Is that a reflection or is that... I think it's a reflection. It's a little bit... Yeah, it's a reflection, alright. That's pretty... Oh, there's the anime girl. Oh. Oh, now it makes sense. I still don't understand what sense the line makes. What is the line? Come on, through the building. What is it? And, the and we have to us? walk. We're the locked into walking again. How well with the radio man running the show so yeah, heavily movie. scripted gameplay. Um, destructible environment? I wouldn't say so, except for that one third. thing with the, uh, sand bus thing. Mm. Never spoke to him, but the Colonel trusted Liar, lay Liar's lair. Liar's lair. Liar's lair, lying low. I'm trying to make a tongue twister. You don't forget a voice like that. Signal's still shit. We gotta go further down. We're going to the liar's lair. Oh, they killed all the liars. That's nice of them. Hello. Hello. I wanna... Oh, okay. Can't vault over that. Whoa, that guy's a play... Oh, those aren't sunglasses. Those are... Blood? This guy... This guy is... Uh... There's, um... Shake Hawk, like right there, Shake Hawk, Shake Hawk, Ben Eagleson, Osprey. Let's find a way. Sorry if this commentary ahead. stopped Got being it. funny, yes. but as for the quality of the game, I hope you can see that. Ooh, look at that! Look at that post processing. It's like, oh my god, it's 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 unbearable in this hallway. Let's get out of here. Oh god, it's in this hallway too. Oh my god. And now we have a cutscene. Oh. Oh. That is... That's cool, kind of. If it... Walker? Captain Walker. Oh, that's the end of the demo. We just get buried in sand. And then this guy comes up to us and is like... Oh, you just fell out of a building. It's clear the 33rd is no longer acting as part of the U.S. Army. The CIA's been here for God knows how long trying to clean it up. I know, there's a lot of you asking the same question right now. Why? There was no reason for any of this. We were looking for survivors. Well, you found some. It's a bitch, ain't it? You found some it's a bitch hand and that's Walker. that oh, makes shit. so much sense. We're gonna sort this out. We need to find John Conrad. You didn't actually think we just let you walk in here, did you? That's enough! You chose this, not us. This war 
is over. Dubai will be evacuated. And you will tell me what happened to John Conrad. Everything is teetering on the edge of everything. But this you already know. The rest like, everything is teetering on like the edge of like Welcome everything. So yeah, there you go. Is that the end of this gameplay? Yep, sure is. Sure is. That was um great, wasn't it? I hope I've shown you what this game is and what the demo shows it is. Third person cover based shoot, a lot of scripted events, no innovation at all. Um the final score. I'd give a final score of ten out of ten. Great software, love it, everything worked right. Um, there were a bit of hiccups here and there, not the best quality, but overall Fraps is a great method for capturing videos and gameplay. So oh, yeah, I have to say, great product, worth every penny. There you go, bye. Oh wait, there's one more thing. When you hit exit, Captain Walker, can you when you hit exit, um, yeah, you go through the exact same cutscene we just saw. There's no way of escaping it. I'm trying. His escape doesn't work. All the F4 does. Okay, so if you want to get out of that last cinematic trailer, all F4 does work. Um. So yeah, and once you finish the game, it takes you to the store page on Steam for this game. So yeah, they're gonna saturate you with as much media about this game as they can when you play this demo. I guess it makes sense because it is a demo, they are trying to sell you the game, but I feel it is intrusive, so yeah, there you go, see you later.